guys, it's time to share the favourite products of the month. And just a little update, last week I've reached 900 subscribers. So thank you guys so much. And I'll be holding another giveaway at 1,000 subscribers. So thank you guys again. So I have my favourite in this little basket here. We'll start off with the clean and clear oil controlling fill. And they look like this. There's a little sticky pad here so it always sticks one out. It's summer right now in Australia so in hot humid days I'll use this to blot my teaser and it works very well. It blots all of the oil off and also it doesn't take that much makeup off. It only takes the amount, maybe the powder that's stuck in the oil. And so that's a fantastic product to have in your purse or just have in your makeup collection. Another favourite product is this blush. This is by Peri Para. And this is the blush in number 4. It comes in a box like this and this is the eBay sellers sticker, so yeah. Box like this. This is a peachy orange blush and there's a little shimmer inside in here but it's fairly noticeable when it's on the face. It just gives you a very glowy effect and I find that this orange works best on my skin tone. Other oranges I've tried makes it look dirty and dusty whereas this one just makes it look really natural. So this is my second favourite of this month. And a swatch of it look like this on my fingers. My next product favourite is this palette by Revlon. And this is the palette in Copper Spice. Looks like this in a pan. And that's a swatch of all the colours. I've been wearing this palette for the month of January because it's so easy to pair the colours. The gold is great for a highlight or the inner tear dark colour. The pink is great for all over lid colour. This brown or bronzy colour is great for a transition colour. And this brown is great for the outer V or for a liner. And I find these little sponge applicators inside very easy to use too with these colours. My next favourite is this Max Factor eyeshadow and it's called Burnt Bar. Looks like this. And it's like this swatch. This is a very pigmented taupe colour and it's great because it's from the drugstore and it's inexpensive and I feel that you can wear this alone and you can blend it out and it'll give you a very very nice smoky effect or you can pair it up with other colours and it's just an effortless eyeshadow so I really recommend this eyeshadow. My next favourite is this L'Oreal Double Extension Mascara and it's in the waterproof version and so on one side the white side is the primer, looks like this, and the black side is just the black mascara. This really extends the length of my eyelashes and I feel that the primer you can build it up a lot without clumping and the black mascara is great for covering up the white primer and also this mascara doesn't smudge that much and it keeps my lashes curled all day long and I have really short and stubby lashes so it points straight. You can apply a light layer of the primer for a more natural look or you can apply more for a more dramatic lengthened lash look and you just need to cover up with the black mascara end. And so this mascara has been working great for me. Next is this concealer and this is the Rimmel Concealer in Match Perfection and I have mine in Ivory. The applicator looks like this. Here's a swatch of it. I've been enjoying this concealer because it's very light on the skin but it still has very decent coverage and it doesn't irritate my pimples so it's great for pimple scars or pimples that are just coming out. It also has a highlighting effect so you can put it on your brow bone or around the mouth to just make the area pop. Also the size of the concealer is really easy to bring around with you so if you need any touch-ups it's really convenient. And so that's my next favourite. My last two favourite are these lipsticks. They're very famous on the YouTube community so I won't go in detail with them. The first one is Very Smooth by L'Oreal. And it looks like this. And that's a swatch of it. It's a nude shade but as you can see there's still some redness to it. So it gives your lips a very natural healthy look. And when it's on the lips it almost gives you a very milky look on the lips. A milky pink look. 
Also, it's very moisturizing on the lips, so you don't need an extra chapstick or lip moisturizer. And so that's the L'Oreal Ferris Nude. The next lipstick is Airy Fairy by Rimmel. It looks like this. It looks like this wash. So as you can see, this is more of a pinky shade compared to Ferris Nude. The shade of this lipstick is more of a your lips but better look. This is great for most skin tones and it works for most looks as well. Also, it's very moisturizing on the lips. And so that's Ferris Nude. That concludes the favorite products of this month. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already and also like this video. Also comment down below any favorites you have. And until next time, bye!